Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Thursk, or Thursk race course as well. So let's go and take a look around. <laughs> When we first arrived at Thirsk Racecourse Caravan and Motorhome Club site, we turned into the normal entrance you would use on non-race days for the main part of the campsite, uh, which we're turning into here. Due to it being a race day, this section was closed and the chat flagged us down, as you can see, and redirected us to the rally field. And you get to that by turning left out of the site just following the road back down towards Little and then following that fence you can see along the back there's a road behind there so that takes you to the rally field which is further up the race course so let's head back out and let's head down that way And here we are and we just take a left here and then just cross this car park and then we're into the rally field. Once we arrived at the rally field we parked up near the entrance. Much like when we turned into the wrong entrance to the main part of the site, we'd actually parked in the wrong place here as well. We needed to be further down because there's a lot of horse boxes come in with it being race day. So we got moved on a little bit later, as you can see us heading on now, a little bit further down the field. But you know what? It was nicer down there we got on the middle row. Further up the rally field there was an L sand point and a water point and some bins for putting any rubbish in and let's just take a quick look around of where we'd moved to and also we'll take a quick look at the race course, this gives you a bit of a view there. So we were happily pitched up and decided to take a wander into Thirsk. Just opposite the rally field, there was a road that led past the church we just looked at and took you down to Thirsk. Rachel visited the James Herriot Museum, which you can see here. We're going to cover that in a separate vlog in a few weeks time as we've got some other bits to add to it to give a little bit of a James Herriot themed vlog. There's also the Thirsk Museum which is opposite. Let's have a quick look inside of that now. There's a quick look around the Thirsk Museum. 
There's a number of shops, cafes, bars and restaurants in the centre of Thursk. Let's just take a quick look around those now. Thursk's a market town which dates back to around 500 to 600 BC. The name was derived from the Old Norse word presk, meaning fennel lake. And the settlement's mentioned twice in the 1086 Doomsday Book. Thursk lies in the Vale of Mowbray and it's 24 miles north of York, and Cod Beck runs through the centre of Thursk. The area to the east of the river is called Old Thursk. Thursk's famous for the vet surgeon and author James Herriot, pen name of James Alfred Wright. He called Thursk Darabee in the books. Then back to the race course, and then time to take Roxy out for a little walk. There's a handy little track that runs just alongside where you go into the rally field and ideal for taking the dog for a walk. Let's just take a quick spin around there. You can see it uh, runs quite some distance, so perfect. And after the races have finished, we tucked ourselves up in bed and then the next morning we were heading off back home after our lovely weekend of adventure. So there we go, that was Thirsk Racecourse. A little bit of an unexpected one we landed to. We didn't really know where we were going on the morning and we ended up there really pleased we did. What did you think? I really enjoyed it and I think you all uh, gather from me it's about people um, and we met some of the most amazing people on that day. Everybody was so lovely and friendly and the couple in, a mo in the motorhome next to us owned shares in a race horse so it was brilliant shouting their horse on when that was running etc. It was a really 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 enjoyable evening. I loved it. What about you? Yeah, it was re really enjoyed it actually. I, I wasn't sure when it was on a rally field because you, you know you think I'll maybe try something a little bit different because uh, we were at the pub the previous night, so you know I fancied mixing it up a little bit. But actually, it was brilliant. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Not too far to walk into Thirsk. Went and got some fish and chips for tea. Um, absolutely spot on. I even managed to have the canopy out for a while as well there uh, because uh, as soon as I put the chairs out it started raining. Um, well not really raining just spitting on a bit um, but the canopy came in uh, brilliant for that. And there was a great walk for Roxy as well yeah. that literally was straight off the side and you could go for miles on that path. It was yeah. really really good. It was also great to meet Graham and his partner from the uh, CV group. Uh, we clocked they had another CV just a little bit further down the field from us. So, hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the races. Uh, we did have a little a bet on some of the horses. Um, uh, I think Rachel got more car carried away than me. I've still got £15 left in the uh, account and I put 20 in, so I didn't do that bad. And I'm going to give up my full-time job. I'm moving abroad and buying myself a Ferrari with the £6.74 that I won. But you know what? 
it was so worth it. I really, really enjoyed it. It was good, wasn't it? Yes. So, would you do it again? Absolutely, definitely, 100%. Great night, brilliant night. I think it'd be interesting to try first race course as well when the racing isn't on, just see what the experience is. But I think it just made it something a little bit special. We had a lovely weekend. Date the races by stealth. So, we'll leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, Bye. for now.